Okay, guys, welcome back to Secret, um, Secret of Mana. Visions of Mana. I was about to say Secret of Mana. Um, we're still in this area. I think we've still got a bit to go. Yes, we do. Do we need to go that way? No, and just weaklings anyway, so who cares? Our main goal, guys, is to continue this area, what's left of it. It's not much here to do anyway. Alright. Done. Alright, let's get this thing and get out of here. I hate when a game does this. You gotta wait into it. Go past that situation. We're outside battle mode. Alright, kind of calculations. There's a few areas we need to go. Oh, just one area we've got to go to. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Let them deal with it. I don't need to do anything. I know they can beat it, so... Grab this stuff. We're just running around at the moment, guys. Just looking around, just making sure there's nothing we miss. I want to try to do this at 100 properly, guys, so. Doesn't look like there's anything you're really missing at the moment. Just a few side quests. It's about. Probably takes you up there, I'm guessing. Do I need to go up there? Not this very second, no. First thing... First thing is to deal with these guys. Alright, guys. Alright. These guys are pushovers. Yeah, wake me up. Alright, that was a, um, what do you call it? A side quest, so that's good out the way. Good, now we can go back up there. We'll go back and that will take us straight up there. We can get that out the way, and then we're just gonna go back to the middle and then head to the ruins, I believe. And the ruins are full of strong enemies, so we've got to be real careful. We won't be fighting any of them because they're level 50s. As we all know, guys, we won't stand a chance of level 50 enemies. There he is over there. I don't know, how I, I don't know why I cannot see that. Go this way. I think this way is that hard area actually. We'll come back to this a little bit later. I don't feel like dealing with those enemies today. We'll go up to the next one just above it. There's another area not far away. Alright, let's get going. Alright, where are we going? Okay, so yeah, it requires mucking around. Alright, we'll, we'll pass travel. Oh, I can't really pass travel anyway. We'll go this way. We get down to that area, guys, that we missed. There's a small area in the middle of the game, pretty much in the middle of the map, that we missed. 
Oh, okay, going. Nearly there. All right, something just this way. Let's go. Make it nice and easy. I uh, don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Enemies, I guess. Why am I not surprised to see more enemies? And these enemies are so weak, so they're hard to kill because everyone kills them before I do. Alright, so that's done. Go this way. I don't know. Oh, I mean, no, it's in here. It's in this. It's in one of these things. I imagine. Maybe oh, there it is. Let me see. A rare item. It's not that rare, dude. All right, let's go back to the middle part and get that area organised. Surprisingly, guys, we're gonna go up and go around. So we're going back the same way we came. So imagine this is how the game keeps it fresh, guys, by just making you run around all day. Which is fine, guys, because after this I'm going for lunch. I mean, uh, I've got to go to shops. I need to restock on a few items. I was hoping not to go today, but... Gotta go, gotta go. Not so much drinks, guys, because I'm not really drinking that much. I don't want to drink these drinks in the future, because they're too reflexy. Uh, no. Wrong way. No, it's the right way. Let me have a look. Yeah, it's the right way, guys. It just looks like the wrong way. It's the right way. Or is it? No, it's up there, so I say no. Damn it! I'm gonna go around go wrong again. Okay, go up. And go up a little bit more. No big deal, no big deal. So guys, there is a sad situation coming up in the story. I'm not going to say what it is because it's uh, spoilers, but I already know what it is, so... The only time I think I actually cried in the whole game. Now, I'm not really a cry person, so you don't see me doing that often, but it does happen. All right, guys, let's do this. All right, that's done. He's not that strong, guys. He's nearly... Alright, I've got to be careful with that one. Now, get on the ground, guys. got two characters who need healing. And trust me, I'll be needing to do this a lot soon, and I... I can't even hit you because you keep moving. Yep, gotcha. You're not super strong. Look at that, guys! All leveled up to 14. That's fantastic. Fantastic news for us. This might be useful. Oh, dude.
There it is, I know it's here somewhere. Alright, down we go guys, we don't need to be here. We're, okay, so facing this direction, what's it? Alright, one of those stupid battle areas. Alright, we might have to go in there in a minute guys, let's just get this thing out the way first. Oh, it's one of these. Up. Save area. All right. Get back up there and get that thing out of the way. But first, I might go over here. Get these two things out of the way. Yeah, they're the last two guys, and then we can finally. At least we can finally get out of this area and continue the story. Thanks for the pick me up. You're welcome. Alright, got it. We don't need it. When we get a chance, guys, we should sell stuff. We'll be able to do that very soon, so don't worry. Alright, let's do this. Now, this might be a bit difficult because I can't use my CS for a while. I'm only at 20, 25%, so... Get up! I can't even get anyone because they're all moving so fast. Damn, these animals are all tough. Uh oh. I tried to move, but I couldn't. Yeah, guys, I need my CS to be a full power to do this. Yep. Damn it! Alright, we're not going to make this guy, so we'll have to come back a bit later. Oh, he did it! That was um, a bit easier than I expected. Okay, I thought we were going to fail. A whelp of the moon. Oh, we did do it! Yay, I didn't have to come back to it. Now, done. Yep, we're done guys. Now we're gonna go north. That way. Actually, you know what? We can just do this. Go straight here. And continue from there. Go north. And be the boss. So up in that direction, guys, where the wounds are. Any enemies around? Nope, not one. Interesting. There's a lot of enemies at one stage now, there's none. Correction, some up here. Um, these are normal enemies, yep. Oh, I've got both of them. Is that it? That's it, let's go. Over already? Got some 
Lancera. Grizzly. A health is regenerated so we can keep going. This isn't boss, a hard boss battle? No. A um, normal battle, battle, sorry, not boss. Nope. The Luca ruins to which we head, however, are further afield. What do you think we'll find in the ruins? Lots of monsters. You can never be too careful in locations like that. I'll we'll find another way up. Ah, there we go. The so guys, do not fight any of these, these enemies. They're not going to. It's not going to end well. It's just not going. To, they're level fifty-fours, I believe. So yeah. Fucking for us guys, they tend to be out of the way. So let's get going. And we're nearly there. Now, guys, there is a boss battle coming up, so let's get ready. Those ruins look like they're hiding. They're not hard, it's not a hard boss. None of the bosses I find are really that hard. Hair stand on end. Curious. Oh yeah, we're doing good guys. We've done about ten eight, oh, eight hours, uh, seven and a half hours, so we're doing good. For now we must continue on to the Luca Let's get going guys, we'll see. <laughs> Look at that guys, 17 minutes, we're already up to here. The beautiful area though, got Long bats ago, and all. The Luca ruins were a place of worship. I mentioned before how some refer to the place as the water ruins, did I not? Our ancestors built it for those who wished to pay homage to the spirits. Now, however, there are hardly any who venture out in this vicinity. You'd think that lots of people would want to come see such a beautiful place. Do you like historical sites and ruins, Karina? I have studied the topic extensively myself. I'm not so much interested in ruins as I am in seeing everything I can. If I'm on the alms pilgrimage, might as well make the most of it. Still, it is pretty. I had no idea there were places like this to explore. I guess I'm lucky to be the alm after all. Except for you got to sacrifice your life at the end of the game. What a mysterious place. That's a very weird thing. All right, we've got two bubbles, guys. One on the left, one on the right. Um, we've got this one. I can see why people Just explaining. So this one's a battle battle. <laughs> see, that just destroys them all for me. It basically explodes, guys. And that one is a heal battle. Actually, I should get rid of the weaklings. Oh, damn it. Oh. Alright, just those two. Now, let's go in here and heal. What it does, guys, is heal you up. It'll heal you up completely. Let's grab these two things, and three things, and then head out. Alright, let's do it. Oops, I pushed a button. I do not believe you can be in the bubble indefinitely. Be careful. Yeah, make sure I don't push any buttons while you're in it, because it'll kick you out. Oh, so I said they had a butterfly, so I thought they were monsters. As to the name of your curious companion? She's called Ramco, and she's my best friend. She even wanted to come with me on the pilgrimage after I was named the Elm of Wind. How honorable. It is lovely to make your acquaintance, Ramco. Alright, let's go. This. This is kind of exciting. A rare item! Alright, is there anything else here? No, let's keep going. Ah. Alright, we're getting there guys. Story time! Oh, 
right. A dead end. There's something weird about this water bubble. Weirder than the obvious, I mean. Perhaps the problems with the water supply pertain to this puzzle. <gasps> what now? The device could yet be a deceptive decoy. You're not wrong. Let's keep an eye out on the way. Stay sharp. All right, enemies. All right, let's go. That's quite a lot. Heads up! Well, let's get this done. With use of the water's power, we can overcome this. Okay, this alpha will not stop until you pick every way Yep. Okay, cool. Don't really care, you won't need it. Goodbye, Black Mage, you're not gonna stay here. I am a mortal. Gosh. Get rid of these guys first. Especially the All right, now it's just you guys. That's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, damn, I thought he already did it. All right. Oh, give me a break, there's more? We need everyone to fight, guys. Oh, we're well done. Alright, let's get him out. Alright, let's go. Let's do this the easy way. May not beat them all, but I'll beat most of them. Oh, oh god, good. That was intense. Alright, that was easy. Ugh. Remind me to take the stairs next time. Strange that such a surge of opponents might occur in this space. That's one way to keep a secret. Make sure no one can reach your lair without defeating a horde of monsters. Morley's right. There's something up ahead that no one wants us to find. Let's go. Yes, there is. More monsters may have been alerted to our maneuvers after that melee. We were quiet enough to go unnoticed. Probably. We are in the clear, it seems. For now, just be careful. Oh, guys, we've got enemies up ahead. Hmm. I don't want money, I want... Hey! Oh, it's right there. I won't run past it. Yes. Let's rest up. All right. Right, we healed up, guys. Let's get this out the way. Everything done? Yep. Let's go. Master, Her Majesty Queen Palomina is here. With the arms. What? How? Why? What do you think, you, you little traitor? This location turned out to be the source of the water's stagnation. Was this dastardly deed your doing? <laughs> you should be on your way to the mana tree and out of my fur by now. You put the citizens of Ilistana in danger in order to frame Niccolo. 
Why? Simple. You stood in the way of my ambitions. I would make a much better king than that sniveling brat. This small bit of suffering on the part of the people is necessary to achieve my ultimate goals. You would sacrifice the well-being of the many for the benefit of the few. Gone are the days when Illustan as wealthy could impose their will over the common good. Those with the means should have the right to lay down the law to those who lack it. That system propelled the capital into the prosperity it sees to this day. Perhaps your appointment as Alm is the goddess, making her will known. After all, you must give up your position and leave the capital. She is telling you that you, Queen Palamina, are no longer needed in Elistana. Oh god, you're not needed either. There is no higher honor than being chosen as an Alm. You're just trying to make excuses for your underhanded plot. An honor? <laughs> An honor to throw your life away for a rotten world of filth? You may keep that honor, sir. No matter. Now that you have discovered my plan, you must be disposed of. Just think, a world that has lost all of its alms. What an interesting place that would be. No, a world death. It's time for a boss fight now. This boss shouldn't be too hard. I beat him in my solo one pretty easily, so I should have no trouble with this one because he's stronger. Come on guys, hitting it, hitting it, whack it. I've already done a bit as a boy. For whatever reason, he's not really hitting us that hard. It doesn't work. Where are you going? Oh, he's going to try to land on us. Oh, maybe not. Okay. No. Oh boy. Get down, you useless little creep. Oh, good thing, forget to heal up, guys. Right, I think it doesn't like it right under its face. As I said, he's not a hard boss. Uh, hey, when he does that. Of course she lands on Karina. Didn't get me, I don't think. I'm... How long do we have? I've got lost. Oh, 
Alright, full power attack. Oh no, he's not dead. I thought I would have got him for sure. Okay, let's get going. Obliterate him, guys. He's not very hard, so he doesn't hit that much. Alright, there we go. He's done. Alright, we all leveled up. That's good news for us. So my solo one guys, I think I'm level 20 or so, so. How could the mighty full metal hugger have fallen? Your schemes end now, Passar. This is the end of your bid for the throne. So you don't have to worry about your trip to the mana tree. <laughs> Fools! You yearn for your own destruction at the hands of the mana goddess! It beggars believe! Who's really the fool here? Sounds like the whining of a loser who wishes he were worthy enough to be in all. The alms' pilgrimage is a revered tradition throughout the world. We have been chosen to preserve the future by the fairy and the elemental spirits. Your life is your own to live, not to sacrifice for the sake of others. None of us want to live at the expense of our loved ones. We are their hope for the future. So you're saying that the alms are not tethered to this world with petty desires like life and freedom, but an empty existence. I actually sound like I think it's a fun effect there. Go! Waste the rest of your short lives traveling to the mana tree for all I care. No! He got away. You let him get away! I will dispatch the royal guards to deal with it. What do you want, Cat? A relief! Thank you all! Undine. Undine. Uh, oh, what a horrible mess. Full Metal Hugger interfered with the water flow, which in turn drained away my power. Let me tell you, it has not been fun. But I believe I have you to thank for punishing the imbeciles in my stead. Thank you, Alm of Water. I came to help not as the Alm, but as the Queen of Ilistana. I needed to restore water to my people. I see. Your final act as queen, then. Fairy has told me a lot about you. Go away. You. I can tell by your expression that you've come to your decision, though. Yes. I am no longer wary of abdicating the throne. With this, Niccolo's good name should have been restored. Shall we return to the capital? Mm hmm. You <laughs> can Will you stop it? Not for you to play with, little shit. No. I am relieved that no way. has been rescued. All's well and ends well. We can let you know. Off we go. Ah, uh, sorry guys. The cat sat on the the um one of the buttons and it turns the stream off. So, well, in this case, the um video. So hopefully we didn't miss much. I think I just got here. I think I noticed it pretty much straight away. So we just gotta do this. I'm gonna be on here for about three minutes. The next part's more story driven, and then the next part will be a bit more of a yeah, catching up to where we are on solo. Look at him. You returned, father. You're all right. Once the water in the capital began flowing as usual, they cleared me of all charges. I was told that Passar is on the run, but we can consider this case closed. Father, I would like to introduce my travel companions. It's a pleasure to meet the convoy of alms, and to see Mew again, Morley Alm of the Moon. Mew looks surprised. Don't you know that nothing escapes these ears of mine? I heard rumors going around. Heart, I hope the rest of Mew Alms and Mew Honorable Soul Guard will take good care of Morley and Palomina. Your Majesty, I'm so happy to hear that you've announced your appointment as the Alm of Water. What do you mean by that? Well, 
Queen Palomina told me in no uncertain what? terms to keep her status as the Alm a secret. Usually, the Alm is named with a ceremony by the Fountain. It's a big deal. Without the public announcement, everyone assumed that the Alm wasn't chosen yet. She begged and pleaded with me not to tell anyone. I couldn't tell her no. I could. I apologize for my unwillingness, Fairy. Sounds like the Queen's got a stubborn streak. Undine. Well, I had to attend my alms ceremony, and I wanted to be sure to thank everyone again for all of their help in the ruins. Now then, Palomina, allow me to explain your appointment as the alm. You have worked hard to give the people of Ilistana a place where all walks of life can come together. You made the capital what it is today. It is the very nature of water to flow. You managed to overcome the stagnated worries in your own heart and move forward. This is no small feat. You have shown the great city of Ilistana the truth behind their water woes. And in doing so, you managed to dispel your fears and do your duty as queen. Now then, fairy, if you please. Of course, Undine. Your Majesty. Undine has judged you worthy. Water-wise Queen Palomina, by the grace of the Goddess of Mana, I name you the Ohm of Water. It would be my privilege. I promise to ensure the continued prosperity of Ilistana by fulfilling my duty as the Ohm. You stop it! Them cats. Now then, my fellow alms, I believe we have a journey to complete. The alms of light and darkness should arrive in Ilistana shortly. Until then, Mew all have time to enjoy the capital. See the sights, try the local delicacies. We still get to stay in our rooms at the palace, right? Woohoo! Why do I have to go to the inn? Aw, poor baby. I'm not a baby. I just wanted to stay together. Oh well, I'll try and be on my best behavior for the Queen. There is no need to go out of your way. From now on, I am simply Palomina, Alm of Water. <coughs> Ian, I know that with you on the throne, our kingdom will flourish. I will not let you down. I know you will not. I am afraid that I must leave Ian's ascension in your paws, Niccolo. My debt will be repaid with interest, Muir Majesty. I believe our promise is no longer in peril. Hmm... I suppose that I might need more... instruction on how to govern a kingdom after all. Looking forward to it, Muir Highness. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the Queen was named the Alm. A rare occurrence. But it just goes to show that anyone in the world might be bestowed the honor. I don't know if I really want this honor. No matter. A simple fact that you got to give up your life to do it. Each alm is chosen based on their own merits. Will I have the chance to ask Fairy the reason why she chose me? So basically, you're probably noticing, guys, she's having doubts. So this is a very bad idea. This is what a sad story kicks in. Alms of light and darkness will be. They're coming by boat, so I guess we can leave as soon as they arrive. Better make sure we're prepared, just in case. You're mad. Okay. Oh God, I'm playing with a cat. To at the palace. We haven't spent this long apart since we left Tianea. She might be lonely by herself in a strange new place. That's sorry, guys. Got a lot of ingestion. I'll go check on her. Hey oh yeah, guys, this kind of drink gives me a lot of um, gas. Even though it's not a bad drink, it's actually a kombucha, so it's actually pretty good for you. But it does have its 
it is a bit um bad for your stomach if you got a bad stomach. <sighs> so I'm just gonna run out of this food and that's it. I won't be buying this one again because it's too. So Hina and the others are in the palace. Hopefully in the future, guys, um, we can get things organized and rooms at the yeah. palace for the night. It's late, but maybe I can still try the front entrance. Whatever, I'll figure it out when I get there. Go this way first. So as I mentioned, guys, this is going to be a sad part of the game. Also, it's something that's really going to make it much harder to play throughout the game, guys. So we're heading to the pallets, which is where that water is. Water H2O. Him there. Her room's gotta be around here, right? There's someone there. Hmm. What's Val up to, I wonder? Hey, yeah. <laughs> That's a kind of a reaction. Chap scare. I figured you might be lonely, so I wanted to check and make sure everything's okay. Oh, you thought I was the lonely one? But you weren't lonely at all, right? N no, of course not. In fact, I was busy making plans for the trip. Ah, yes, the picture of Soul Guard preparedness. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Joking aside, I realized I'm more weak-willed than I thought. Hina? It comes to story. If I'm being completely honest, I'm scared. Scared of what? Completing my duty as the Alm and sacrificing my soul. It's terrifying. When we set out on this journey, I hadn't really thought about the consequences of becoming the Alm. Of... But I'd really be giving up. I never questioned my role before. It's ingrained in our traditions, after all. Our purpose in this world has always been to continue our way of life. The Yalms are how we protect the future. Sort but of. now, after traveling to all these exotic locations and meeting so many different people, both good and bad, I realized... <sighs> Never mind. I'm probably overthinking it. Ow! <laughs> Got hit by candy. Oh! <laughs> What's up? Orin? Sorry for eavesdropping. Can I ask? If you two could be together forever, would you continue living your lives as you are now? Until you both grow old and gray. If you never want to let each other go, I can make that happen. You don't I believe him. A future free of the alms sacrifice. If you trust me, come to the pier by the market before sunrise. I'll be waiting. Guys, don't trust him. Something's not right. It just doesn't sound right to me. I mean, yes, I already played it, so I already know what's going to happen, so, but still. No more alms. Do you think a future without sacrifices is possible? <laughs> but what'll happen to us and our mission? I want to hear what Orin has to say. Hina? Okay. 
Let's go talk to Orin. Alright, guys. So, yeah. So, a lot of it now, guys, is going to be story. Um, after that, we start returning the side quest stuff we've done. And then we'll continue from there. Do you remember when we were kids and I got hopelessly lost just outside of the village? Oh, yeah. Once I noticed you were gone, I ran out to search for you. When I found you, you were crying. Which made me cry. I know you- Yeah, cause you're a big cry baby. We left without telling anybody. Do you think we should have included the rest of the group in this? There are alms too. True, but it's already late. And I know that Karina, for one, was exploring the palace from top to bottom. I bet she's fast asleep by now. Also, I get the feeling that everyone else has already come to terms with their role as alms. But I... I just can't. I don't want to have to give all of this up. I want to keep living my life. And now that I've realized that... I know that what I really want is to stay here and keep making memories with you, Val. <laughs> it's silly, but I don't want the others to see how selfish I've become. How unworthy I am to be an Alm. Don't say that! You were personally chosen by an elemental spirit. You'll make a fantastic Alma fire. Thanks, Val. That does actually make me feel better. Of course it does. You're not the only selfish one. I wish I could keep traveling with you forever. Not to the mana tree, just anywhere and everywhere. Which is pretty much where you're going, in a way. Stock we can put in Orin's plan. If there's no other choice. I think it's our duty to see this pilgrimage through. Agreed. I accepted the title, and I will do what needs to be done. Good. But I'd like to know our options first. You know, you're a pretty good soul guard, Val. I was scared to talk about how I was feeling. I thought maybe the others, or even you, Val, might be disappointed in me. Hina, nothing you say would ever make me think less of you. And I know the rest of the convoy feels the same. They'd listen to what you have to say. You're right. I'll talk to everyone when we get back. But first, we gotta hear Orin out. Hmm, guys, something fishy going on. I don't know. Yes! Alright guys, continue your story. This is going to get very safe very quickly. Good. You're willing to take a chance on me. We want to hear you out at least. What is it that you plan to do? How can you make it so that alms aren't needed? Won't the world fall to ruin if the alms don't sacrifice their souls to the mana tree and replenish the depleted mana power? It won't. I'm going to change the unjust laws of fate that rule this world of ours. I can fix it all. And the world will be better for it. For people like Hina. And Liza. Liza? You mean like, Liza Liza? Well, who else do you think he's talking about? It figures you'd know her. She was a soul guard from Tiania like you. After she completed her mission, we settled down together. She's the love of my life. Oh, and I think this is the reason he's doing this, guys. It's not because he's a bad guy, exactly. Her partner was. Is she okay? Where is she? Oh yeah. She's around, still in Guju, actually. Four years ago, she, uh, well, she was named the Alm of Earth. Liza became an Alm, but didn't disaster befall Guju? Just because the village was destroyed doesn't mean everyone was lost but living on the edge of a knife waiting for fate to strike you down is no life at all I need your help to change this world for good so why ask the two of us any alm would be fine but I don't know 
when I look at you two, I see a lot of me and Liza in you. That's why I want... No. Need you both to help me. What do you say? Want to change the world? <laughs> I want to see the future that Val and I can make together. Sounds like I'm at your service, Orin. I knew I could count on the pair of you. Hop aboard and let me show you what I found. Yeah, guys, this is coming up. I don't know what his deal is, guys. I don't know if he's good or bad. Hey, you'll see why I think Did he's... something happen to Liza and Gucci? These days, she... She has a hard time moving. Yeah, you can and say that again. She turned to stone. She's considered the alm of our village. Even after all these years. But I just can't let her go to the mana tree. Where are you taking us? A small island with a place called Rainus Shrine, where we can perform the ritual. What ritual? Uh, it's a that drink. ritual that allows another person to borrow the life energy of an alm. That sounds dangerous. Will this ritual hurt Hina in any way? Everything will work out. Using the power of a person chosen by the elementals, I can make it so the alms won't have to sacrifice themselves, just like in the past. Oh, you mentioned something about that on the prim. Is that why you're traveling the world right now? Hmm. Yep, I've been searching everywhere for a way to fix things. I'd be willing to do just about anything as long as it's for Liza. And that's how I happened upon the two of you. Guys. Yeah, so we're nearly there. What's that? That is Rainus Shrine. It was built back in the time of Fadiel to honor the elementals and give thanks to the spirits. The elemental spirits are more in tune with things like this altar, so it's a good place to perform this ritual. I'm gonna head straight for the altar and get things set up. The terrain is a bit tricky here, so watch your step. Yes, sir. I'm glad I finished with that drink, guys. That drink is like the worst drink in the world when it comes when you got like bored and had reflux issues. Really is hard That's the worst drink ever to have. Thanks, it's good for you generally, but not for me. We found ourselves in. At least not now. Each breath of air feels so crisp and clean. The breeze is nice too. <sighs> well, I figured out what I really want. I want to go back to Tiania with you. I want to hear the rumbles of our volcano as we go about our lives, smiling, laughing, enjoying each other. Is yeah, guess what, guys? It's not going to work out. Okay, we're going to start spoiling. But look at these areas. Let's get started. Go stand in the center of the altar. Hina, good luck. Not so fast. You too, Val. What? Me? This ritual allows someone to borrow another's life force, remember? Hina needs your support physically to hold her up. I'd rather you were with me anyway, Val. Please. Well, okay. Hmm, <sighs> there's something not right about him. I think he's feeling a bit guilty there. <sighs> Is it weird that standing up here makes me nervous? Mm, yeah, it's weird. I'm not nervous. I'm with you. You and should be. We'll be together from here on out. I know this guy's really debating it. Um, Ratila, Kon, Yuila, Mila, Raila, Fonil, Zara, Seki, Sakri, Fukri, Jadila, Roto, Lazula, Tura, Lola, Lazul, Shunula, Shuzra, Pula, Rela. I wish I wanted to shake controller. There they go, they're all activated. What are you doing? This... this feels like... He 
You've got it, Val. This ritual is actually used to draw out the abilities of people with particular powers. In other words, Your. you. You, Val, can reduce living things to their essence. Their core stones. Into what? <laughs> okay, so he's using his power to turn her into a core stone. village who could crystallize monsters. I figured she was kidding. It sounded like a silly myth. But once I saw you in action, I realized you might be the answer I've been searching for. No, it's not going to work out the way he wants it, though, I don't think. I don't know it does. And now, I really don't. I have the core stone of an alm. With it, I'll be one step closer to accomplishing what I set out to do. Hina! Now things are going to go very badly. <laughs> Funny how she just floats back down. Instead of just falling straight to the ground, she floats. You're coming with me to Elusia Isle. Orin! This is it! We didn't want this! You said we could be together! We trusted you! I had to, Val. But her sacrifice won't be in vain. I promise you. <laughs> Listen, I think he's doing it what he thinks is right, but even though it's not. Val. Hina. Sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. I didn't mean to do this. It's all my fault. If I didn't have these stupid powers, you'd be... Nah, we never would have happened, but it's not his fault. I always thought we could get married. And have lots of children. He'd grow into a wise old man. Oh and gosh, she's passing away. Through the years. How is... <laughs> Future I want for us. Hina, no. Trust me, she's not the only, the only person who's going to be upset about her passing away. Once she passes away, guys, the world destabilizes. I believe. God, I am actually tearing up. I'm not a big cry guy, so I won't see anything like that happen to me, but it's sad, nevertheless. I think it drags out a little bit, guys. And now she's gone, so I don't think the Elm of um, experimental is going to be very happy. See? Volcanoes are erupting and the storms are raging. But yeah, that's a fat, sad story, guys. Trust me, he's going to try to explain this to the um, other elms. My... That is quite the quandary. Turned into a core stone? I had noticed when monsters transformed into rocks during fights, but I didn't know it was your doing, Val. You're sitting here feeling sorry for yourself. There she goes. But Orin isn't the only one to blame for this fiasco. I know. You know? Like you know that it's your whole job to prevent things like this from happening, Mr. Soulguard? Karina, is this really the time? No. She's right. I have no right to call myself a soul guard. <sighs> what are you gonna do, retire? You won't even stand up for yourself? Pathetic! How should we proceed? What do you mean? 
You all still have a duty to fulfill at the mana tree. And Val is still charged with protecting the alms along the way. That hasn't changed. With the loss of the Alm of Fire, the village of Tiania is in grave danger. The longer you hesitate, the wider the damage may spread. Hmm, true. But how can I possibly... make it to the mana tree when I can't even protect a single person? It wasn't a monster Where do you that... think you're going? Karina, leave him be. I know how you feel, but you're only pouring salt into the wound at this point. Oh, come on, Morley. Don't tell me you're not mad at Val, too. Of course I am. But yelling at him now won't help. He should have talked to us before taking Hina on this fool's errand. But what's done is done. He's saying he's alright, he's real mad. How could this have happened to Hina? We received word this morning that Dorfer Volcano is active. The extent of the damage is not yet known. Eruptions will scorch the earth with fire from every fissure, so goes the saying. The village is vulnerable. What about Val? If he quits, will we have to make the pilgrimage to the mana tree on our own? More than likely. Complex conundrum to be sure. I do not think it wise to withdraw with Val in this state. Perhaps I can make Val see reason. All he needs is a nudge in the right direction. Leave this to me. Consider it payment from your assistance with my wrongful imprisonment. Father knows what he's doing. Let him try. Yeah, well, maybe you can knock some sense into that thick head of his. He's suffered enough as it is. I doubt he could handle another blow to his mind or body after what he's been through. I mean, this guy's probably the only one who actually has a understand. I have a duty to the rest of the alms. They need protection. They they need me. But how can I protect everyone Ugh. when I'm the reason Hina? Dude, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Them. I. I wish none of this had ever happened. How much you can do about it now, dude? Once we get back, if we'd never left the pier, everything would be different, Hina. All right. Uh, ah, something about the wounds, guys. So I assume that's where he wants me to go. There are eight wounds out there in the world. I need you to find. Oh, God. So, yeah, he's one of those ones you gotta do for the whole world, guys. So, he's gonna be one long ass quest. Well, lucky for us, I'm not sure we can get out of here. Go back. So guys, my stomach really not like that drink much. Um, oh right, I can't do anything else. That's just right, guys. I have to go straight to it. The game won't let me go anywhere else, so yep, I'm forced into that situation. Now we know at the beginning of the game why we couldn't go to the volcano area because we're not weren't meant to go there yet. So let's see what they're going to talk about here. Got you. If only I didn't have this stupid power. If only. If only someone else had been chosen as the soul guard. Hina, I. I'm so sorry. you are, Val. Hard to find a prettier view than the ocean. <laughs> Coming, too. Feels like your heart naturally matches the rhythm of the waves. Yes, it does. I'd find Morley out here when I first took him in. 
He wasn't used to city life, but he liked the sea. He did, huh? Back then, oh. Morley felt responsible for the fall of a town. <sighs> Sorry, so guys, it's early in the morning, so I'm a bit tired. You probably see what I'm trying to get at here. When it got really bad, I would give Morley things to do. Uh, jobs, errands, you name it. Whether it was helping with some of the younger children or traveling with me to distant markets, I put him to work. Even introduced him to Milpa. Anything to give him a sense of community. I wanted Morley to learn more about himself and find a path of his own. It won't be easy. But you can't let this terrible accident close off your emotions. Sure, you could try to forget all about Hina, your powers, and the part you played in this tragedy, but it would solve nothing. You need to find the courage to face what happened, to face what's in your own heart. My heart? That's why fighting prowess is only a small part of what you need to become a soul guard. What matters most is your heart. And the will to carry on, for the sake of a bright future. I don't know if we can have a bright future if we keep kill someone keeps dying every four years. Although, it's not my place to force Mew into a mission Mew can't stomach anymore. I suppose if Mew are out of commission, then the Alms will just have to find their own way. By themselves, <gasps> all on their lonesome. <laughs> Of course, the road to the mana tree is full of monsters and inhospitable terrain, so a soul guard would be useful. But Morley and the others can hold their own against all those ferocious enemies. Probably. Probably? <laughs> what are you talking about? Karina? This pilgrimage is doomed from the start without our soul guard. She's so mad. So Hina's core stone was stolen. So what? We're just gonna have to steal it back. Without you and Hina's help, I never would have gotten this far in the first place. I won't abandon you both now. Don't forget, you're not just our soul guard, Val. You're our friend and companion. This isn't a journey you have to complete alone. We're in this together. Yeah, and tease. Precisely. I would wish for none other than you to bid us a fond farewell at the end of our arduous adventure. Please, find it within yourself to continue this campaign with the rest of us. Thank you. All of you. Alright, I think that's it guys. That's a long story, guys. I've got like three minutes. I shouldn't be asking any favors. But... Oren has Hina's core stone. And I want to get it back. Will you help me? Before we set out, Hina and I decided that if Oren's plan was a bust, we'd like to see this pilgrimage through to the end. It may only be a small piece of her. But I want to bring Hina's core stone to the mana tree in her stead. An entity's core stone is its elementary essence. If we convey Hina's to the mana tree, we may stave off greater tragedy. You're forgetting that we have no idea where Orin's gone. He could be anywhere in the world by now. True. He said something about an Elusia Isle, I think. Didn't you say Elusia Isle? Perhaps <gasps> luck is on our side today. Elusia is the self-same island where the mana tree grows. You're already on your way. So if I run into As him. As I recall, first we must scale the Dede Cliffs. Ah, uh, yes. I have visited the Vigilant Beast Watch who guard the bluff. It was terrifyingly tall. Climb the cliffs? <laughs> Don't be silly. You can use the Jack Seed, just like all the other alms. All right. This special seed can swiftly grow a huge vine, big enough to scale the cliff. It saved the convoys a lot of time and effort. Oh yeah, on definitely. Pilgrimages. Then 
what are we standing around here for? Let's go find that Lolaf Orin and get Hina's core stone back. The sooner we recover her core stone, the sooner we can continue our campaign to the Mana Tree and prevent any potential disasters. What about the Alms of Light and Darkness? None have been named yet, but when they are, I'll send word that they are awaited here. Yeah, I don't know if they were even in this game, guys, because I don't I haven't seen them at all. Once we're done in Elusia, we'll make sure to come back. It's not that far. As long as I've got Hina's core stone, I can fulfill my duty as the Soul Guard and safely escort all the alms to the Mana Tree. Looks like we're headed to Elusia Isle. Hina, I'll try my best. I'm certain that Hina wasn't the only alm sent on this pilgrimage with misgivings in their heart. The burden is heavy, to be sure. Now it's up to Val and the others to shoulder that burden and carry on. If only there was something else to ease their load. Yes. Wait! What is it, Father? My nine lives flashed before my eyes. I almost sent Mew all on Mior way without a proper introduction to my Emporium. Your trip will only get tougher from here on out. Make sure you're good and ready before Mew leave. Yeah, so basically he owns a shop, guys, but unlike the second manor, he actually owns a decent shop. So they're not like double the prices or anything. So yeah. Yep, I know, I know. Let me, I'll do, I'll show you guys so talk. Welcome. Now, things I want to get rid of. Things we don't need, like this sword. No, there are some weapons you can't get rid of for whatever reason, but the ones we can get rid of are the ones with money on them, and the ones that don't have the E on them. I don't know, I don't know why. It's really weird. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one as well. Don't need it at the moment. Um, that one can go too. I wish we could get rid of more. It'd be nicer to get rid of more guys instead of just keeping some of them. So these two I can't get rid of. That one I can, but uh, I don't want to. So it should let me get rid of any weapon I want. I don't know why it's like that. But this on the other hand, I can get rid of pretty much any. Make some money, we've got to become a bit more capitalist people. We need to become capitalists, so we need to make more money so we can buy more armor. Alright, now the fun part. Items, we do not get rid of items. Well, items are something we don't do. Okay, now, go down here. So yeah, all this kind of stuff guys, we can redeem for his specific points, which I'll do at one take. Um, that one converts the cobblestone from the other enemies into it as well, which you can use it. I don't think we really need it. And this one. Basically you can buy some more, I think, I believe. Yeah, so you can buy more and make more and all that kind of stuff. Please come again. So yeah, guys, that's about it. I think we'll finish up in a minute. We'll just we'll just finish up with the um store the um side quest stuff in the in the village, and then we'll finish up. So this one's a long video because of the story. It was a bit longer than normal. So you can tell we gotta go the this way. Isle is still a long way off. I should take stock of my item and gear situation. I can't fail in my soul guard duty. Not again. And this time, remember guys, he's gone now, so we don't have anyone to heal us as much. So we gotta be a bit smarter with our um, inventory. It means more candies and chocolates and cap of wishes and things like that. I'm one step closer to becoming a true soul guard. I, uh, I don't know if you are, dude. I think you're a bit damaged for that. Let's go. Get over here. Let's take it nice and easy, guys. It's a nice, easy day. It's really early here, guys, so that's why 
I haven't done anything, really haven't done anything. The only thing I've done so far is had a shower. Once I finish you guys, I can just start uploading and yeah, the rest of the day I'll be pretty much spent. I won't be any streaming today or probably tomorrow. Like I said, I've got a few other things to deal with, more um more personal level, so I won't be doing a ton of work today. I do have one more video I want to do today, but I don't know if I'll do it or not. But we'll see what happens. Trust me guys, I think we've already got all our weapons, so better make sure. Welcome! What will it be? Yep. What are our weapons? Thank you for coming. What I thought. Alright, let's get started. Time to get on the road again. Okay, everyone. I guess the Dede Cliffs are our first stop. Correct. From Ilistana, we must go by way of Arvet's pasture. We should see the cliffs once we cross Dura Gorge. The Beast Watch keeps an eye on the area around the cliffs. Without their protection, the one route to the mana tree could be overrun. The Watch is all beast folk like you. Right, Morley? In the same way that the Soul Guard always hails from Tiania, the greatest warriors of Etern are chosen for the Beast Watch ranks. The whole uh -huh. world has their parts to play in the rejuvenation of mana. Now it's time for us to play ours. Well then, lead the way, Mr. Soul Guard. All right. Let's get out of here, guys. There's nothing else to do here. We're done. No, we're not done. We've got one little thing I forgot to do. There will be things we've got to do as we go. Um, more side questing and all that fun stuff. Luckily for us, this game's not really heavy into that, so I, I like that kind of thing. A little bit of side questing doesn't hurt, it's just when they sat. Throwing it in. Alright, so it gives me some stuff. That should be it. I think we're done here. Yeah. Alright, so let's get to the next area, guys, and then we'll save up the next possible save area. Arvid's pasture supplies food to the whole world. Its vast, lush fields are abundantly fertile. Good. Need food. More peaceful now. In the past, people fought over this very land. Why? Arvid's war, right? I remember Hina reading historical accounts, and... Hina was quite the ravenous reader, was she not? All right, we're here, guys. Let's get going. This area is not too bad. It's a little bit long, but this area is coming up in the game, but it's much it's longer. Fields and farms as well, lucky for you guys, we won't have to do them today. A familiar sight. It we've got a long way to go. Reminds me of Milpa's ranch. Imagine having to plow this whole pasture. Actually, before we do that, how many quests do we need to do, and how many side quests have we done? All right, so we've still got a few things we should do, these guys. Actually, at some point. All right, next episode, guys, we'll cut, we'll finish these off. We'll, the ones we can do. Um, I don't even know where that is. So yeah, we'll work that out, guys. Caretakers here rely on. Save and finish up. I hope you guys enjoyed. This one was a bit more heavy story element. Uh, it's a bit sad, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers.